Okay, we've seen the general expression that we have for the probability of error coming from uh, the union bound. So we start with the union bound, we come up from that to neglect terms to come up with an approximation, and it's for any modulation format. And I took that general form and I showed you it collapsed down to the solution we saw for QPSK. But now what we'd like to do is let's find the probability of error for MPSK where M can be any value, not just 4 for QPSK. And uh, again, this is covered in uh, the Scholar textbook uh, in sections 4.3, 4.4. They give you the equation, and what I'm going to do is develop the equation given the uh, general expression we have from the union bound. So we have to look at the geometry. Signal space is what allows us to do this calculation. So we take a geometry for M area, and of course this illustration is for A, 8, but we'll be able to uh, do the analysis for M as arbitrary. So I can write the general equation for each one of the symbols along this um, uh, circle at a distance of ES, where ES is the average uh, um, energy per symbol. And if I look at each one of the symbols here and say, what are the coordinates and signal space of each one of these symbols? Well, uh, it's very easy to develop, and the uh, in phase part would be uh, square root of ES, the average energy per symbol, and I'd have the cosine of 2 pi i over m, that's the ith one. So uh, 0, that would be coordinate of 1, and this coordinate would be 0. And of course, as I move around the circle, my coordinates are, are changing by uh, this 2 pi over m. So this is just using the geometry of the circle. <laughs> so the coordinates, uh, the y coordinate would be the square root of es sine of 2 pi over m, whereas the, the x coordinate would be the cosine. Sine and cosine are the coordinates. So this is just for points around, around a, unit, a circle. So now I know the coordinates of, in signal space of each uh, for uh, m arbitrary. So it's not just for this illustration of 8. So I have to calculate the minimum distance. That is the key factor in the equation for the probability of error. So how do I find the minimum distance? Well, I'm going to take just one slice here uh, and look at this part of the circle because the minimum distance is clearly going to be you know, between adjacent uh, symbols. How far apart are these adjacent symbols? So I have to do a little bit of geometry. So I take any one of these and I know that the angle between them, you know, by construction this is MPSK, so this uh, angle is 2 pi over m. I know that they're at equal distance from the origin, so this is the square root of ES. Uh, and now I want to find the distance between them. That's fine. So what I do is, of course, I take this um, and, and, um, triangle and I form a bisector. And the bisector uh, will uh, be a right angle. So I have a right angle that's formed here. And the uh, bisector divides this into uh, pi over m and pi over m. And of course the distance is for this right triangle is d min over 2, d min over 2. And now I just use uh, trigonometric identities to say that uh, uh, to solve for d min in terms of um, in this case um, the sine of pi over m. So sine of pi over m is the side opposite excuse me, side opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So I know that sine of pi over m is equal to d min divided by 2, the square root of the average energy per symbol. So now I can solve for d min. And so d min is equal to 2, pi, uh, two times the sine of pi over m times the square root of es. Or if I wanted to write this in terms of EB instead of ES, in, the, in terms of the average energy per bit instead of the average energy per symbol, I would re re replace the average energy per symbol by e, uh, EB times log 2M. So now I have an expression for D min that I can use in my approximation coming from the union bound. So I take this D min and I'm going to plug it into this general equation. So this is the general equation. Now I have calculated the d-min per MPSK, and what else do I need? I need to find k, how many pairs are at this minimal distance. And of course, the, at the minimal distance, they're all the adjacent pairs. That's how many uh, uh, I need to factor in. And for MPSK, k, the number of um, symbols that are 
at the minimal distance are equal to the number of symbols that are adjacent, which is just equal to m. So now I have m, I have de min, and I can plug them in and come up with a general expression for MPSK. So MPSK, uh, the probability of error is 2q, and then we have the sine of pi over m times the square root 2eb log 2m divided by n0, where of course n0 is the power spectral density of the noise. So this is the equation that you will find in all textbooks uh, for MPSK. Now, the receiver structure we've already seen as an example before. Um, would take this arc tangent and then we would put a slicer uh, afterwards to choose which one was the, the, the symbol transmitted. And this now is the other part of the information we need. So here is the form of the receiver. Here is the decision algorithm. And now we have the last part which tells us the performance of this uh, um, communication system.